Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern. We are behind the scenes uh, with the famous, fabulous, the Reggie Marcel. How do we follow you? You can find me on any social media platform at the Reggie Marcel, which is T-H-E, Reggie Marcel. All right, perfect, all right, we got that out of the way. All right, so um, we are doing a basic 101 Detailing 101, and you're going to show us how to create lines and everything using trimmers. Yes, um, I have an actual um, trimmer that I like to use. It doesn't matter what tool of choice you're going to use. Um, I'm actually going to be using the Flash FX by Babelis, which is a T head trimmer, which is the best thing for when it comes to creating detail work because you have the T head that you can go in and do the carving with. The main thing about it is it's about your creativity, about you being comfortable and taking ownership of the tool that you're using to create the actual look, right? So what most people make a mistake is when they're going in and creating lines, they go in with the trimmer head first, all the way on. But as you can see, if I went in, I would be creating extra lines of where I don't need it to be. So the main thing is being able to use the edge of my trimmer to go in and etch out. Whether I'm going from this direction or going this way, I can etch that out. So I'm gonna turn on my Flash FX, and I can go in just using just the tip of my trimmer. If I wanna go in, I wanna make sure I brush that area down because the main thing is you want you want the hair to flow the way you're gonna cut it. If you don't, what happens is you'll cut a gap somewhere. Don't be afraid of it. Take ownership, even if it feels a little uncomfortable. I'm holding it more like a pencil, and I'm just using the tip of, of my blade to go in and tap in that area. And what I'm doing is I've worked the top of the line, now I'm working the bottom part of the line. And that's really important to get a really nice clean look is to be able to work the, the bottom part as well. Now if I want to add to this, I can go in, just lightly tap, just lightly tap on the design that I've already created, brush downward, and I just want to connect that just a little bit. It's very simple, simplistic. When it comes to creating a look, it doesn't matter if you make a straight line, if you make a curve. It's about your your interpretation of the art. So I looked at this as just a regular arrow, right? But what if I did it like a, a letter N? And I went in and I just added a little bit more to the line that I already have. Now I've created a different type of look that you would normally not see. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's really just up to you. And using the T-head on the, the Flash FX makes it a lot easier for me. And I'm not going directly in. I can easily clean this out and be done. Something All right. Any extra tips? I know you said what people make a mistake with, but is there anything like you have to clean it more often or what? Good point. So the good point is this. When it comes to your trimmer, the first thing first, always all your blade. That's really important because what happens is hair gets trapped into these actual crevices. So when you all that, it allows the blade to move freely, which is very important. Also sanitation. I can't say that enough because what happens, you're using a blade to cut really close to the head, and when you cut in that close, you can create ingrown hairs, infections, and things of that nature. So cleaning that head allows you to really go in and also protect the client, but get the look and result that you want at the same time. That's so great. You did a great show up there. We were watching from the from uh, from the um, audience, and you just a beautiful model. Thank you for giving us this time. I always enjoy being around you, speaking with you every show. You always got a beautiful smile, and I appreciate the opportunity. All right, thanks so much. Thank Be you. Reggie Marcel. Thank yes. you. Bye-bye. So if you're a beginner,